Indicate the region in the Venn diagram below in which the figure below would be placed. You have a Venn diagram with three circles. The upper left circle consists of figures that are blue. The upper right circle consists of figures that are shorter across than the circle itself. And the lower circle consists of things that are circles. And they've labeled the regions, but what they're asking us to do is to figure where within that universal set would that blue figure go. So let's think about it. It's obviously blue. So it's, it will be inside of the blue figure circle, no doubt. But where inside the blue figure circle? Well, it's not a circle, so it won't belong in that bottom circle that consists of all, the, all things that are circles. So it's inside the blue figure circle, but it's not inside of the circle circle. So that means of the four regions that are in the blue circle, one, two, four, five, it's not four or five because they're inside the circle circle. So you have to eliminate four and five. That leaves just one and two. But now think about it. Two is inside of the pink circle and the pink circle consists of figures that are shorter across than this pink circle. I don't think it takes much to convince you that that blue triangle is shorter across than the pink circle. So, that blue triangle also belongs inside the pink circle. So the question becomes, how can you put the blue triangle inside of the blue circle and the pink circle without it being in the circle circle? You can't put it in, we already narrowed it down to one or two. It can't go here because if it were here, it wouldn't be inside the pink circle, which it has to be. The only region in that Venn diagram where this blue relatively small triangle belongs is region two. Inside the blue circle, inside the pink circle, but not inside the circle circle. Very simple if you just take it one step at a time and think about what they're asking you to do. Represent this expression, it's the intersection of B and C minus A as a Venn diagram. Here's just testing to see if you understand these concepts. I would start on the inside of the parentheses and sketch out what B intersect C is. Those are the things that are in both circle B and circle C. So that would be this yellow area. This yellow area represents everything that's in both B and C. But then I want to take away from that yellow circle anything that's in the circle A. So I've got to get rid of the things in the yellow that fall inside circle A. So I want to get rid of that part. So the remaining area is visual representation of the intersection of B and C minus A. Here it says use a combination of A, B, C, union, intersection, and complement to describe the shaded region below. And it's multiple choice, so we simply have to decide which one of those four is correct. One thing is, we can take advantage of the fact that we're choosing from those four possible answers. We can just take them and look at those individually and try to eliminate some things. And what's not eliminated will eventually be the final answer. So that's my strategy here. B, C, and D, if you look at them, all involve set A, right? That has set A, that has set A, and that has set A. But if you look over here at the shaded part, there's nothing in A shaded at all. If the answer were either choice B, choice C, or choice D, there would be something from A shaded over here. But there's not. I can knock out B, C, and D without doing much work at all, so I claim that the answer has to be A. And if you look at it, that sort of makes sense because you're taking A complement, things that aren't in A, and you're intersecting them with where B and C are union together. But now I want to actually verify this. This is more practice than anything else. I know the answer is going to be A. B union C is this area that I've hatched out in red. But as I said, A complement is everything that's not in A. 
if you take the things that aren't in A and intersect them with that area that I've drawn red lines over, all you're left with is that blue region, which is what they said. These answers, B, C, and D, got eliminated early on because they all had something to do with A in them and there was nothing over here with A shaded. Use the Venn diagram below to find the cardinality of the set A complement, intersect B complement, intersect C complement. The cardinality of a set is just the number of elements in the set. So all we have to do is figure out which region of the Venn diagram is represented by that intersection, and we have it. But we've dealt with this type of expression before. We're looking for the areas or regions that aren't in A, and they're not in B, and they're not in C. Well, the only thing that is not in any of the three circles is that yellow area. And that yellow area has a cardinality of 19.